YouTube, welcome back to another Warzone breakdown where in today's video, we're gonna be analyzing a viewer submitted gameplay. If you guys want your gameplay analyzed here on the channel, make sure you submit your gameplay through our Discord community and the link to that is in the description below. And basically the point of this series is to sit back and break down their gameplay, go over the things they could improve on, give a little constructive criticism, and also highlight the things that the enemies are doing wrong as well. When we're all playing this game in real time, it's hard for us to be analyzing mistakes or in the heat of combat. So what this does is it lets us sit back, relax, and kind of take the information with a stress-free mindset. That way we can kind of process it and learn for future matches. But if you guys like the content, make sure you guys drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel today, and without any further ado, let's dive into the gameplay. All right, here we are, spectating wonderful, and they're going for scavs. I am a huge believer in objectives. Here. Uh, hey, wonderful, first thing, <laughs> first thing. You should have beamed that dude right out the sky. This guy right here is completely vulnerable, and he's coming right to you. There's no reason you can't take your Diamantes and completely blow this kid away. One, your Diamantes is way more powerful than the standard weapon he's carrying right now. And two, again, because of the hang time and the fact that he can't shoot at you at this moment in time, there's nothing stopping you from getting three bursts off and downing this poor SOB. Also, you don't really have to worry about other enemies coming at you because y'all were the first to hit the ground. Everyone else is going to be grabbing loot. Um, secondly, do not allow somebody that you could have killed to actually land, grab weapons, and have a chance to fight you. I love to pick off enemies when they're at a disadvantage. I never want to allow the enemy who had the disadvantage to flip flop and then be able to kill me. So I would have liked to have seen you actually contest that guy. And he's not shy. He looks to be coming right at you right now. Here he is. Um, that's kind of questionable. Don't know what the hell he was doing. <laughs> All right, this right here, we're taking a little too long. We're taking a little too long. Guys, y'all probably look at me like I'm crazy, like savage. He's looting pretty fast. No, we're in a cubby. We made noise. Everyone's gonna be coming to us because we popped up on the mini map. Players should be converging. Direction. I don't like being in this cubby this long. And even though we survive, it's small things like that where sometimes it will Come get you here. killed. You guys gotta be fast in your decision-making process on what you wanna loot. Get in, get out, move on to the next thing. Especially since we don't have ghost on, we don't have that luxury. There is Volty on the top. Good call out by Wonderful. Carpenter there to put some shots down. We're gonna try to join Carpenter. Now we know there's another enemy over here somewhere. There he is, jumping up, and we're right, able to we're, we're able to solidify the kill. Arriba. I'm down. Now there were other squads here as well. We killed three enemies, and we saw two more Dude, players I'm land I'm on the west side of the yeah, storage town. So I'd be very very careful um, how long I sit on top of this rooftop yeah. for. There they are over behind us. He is in pursuit right now. Carpenter needs to be helping us out again. Going to a cubby like this is no bueno. This is not what I like to see. If you feel unsafe, people's first instinct is to go inside of a building and that's fine. Buildings are a different story because there's inlets and outlets everywhere. Windows, doorways, rooftops, things you can jump in and out of to relocate your position and come up behind the enemy. But when you're in a spot like this, if he's got thermite, stun, concussion, anything like that, you're going to be absolutely at a disadvantage. I don't like this. I'd rather you be playing the dumpsters, the fence, something like that. Give yourself an opportunity to be able to outplay the enemy. When you put yourself in a corner like this, you are literally only relying on your reaction time and your accuracy, as opposed to being able to rely on your accuracy, your reaction time, your movement speed, your IQ plays, things like that. There's so much more you can do when you're out there navigating small pieces of cover than there is hiding in a cubby. I'm sorry, that's the second time I noticed it. I know I've talked about it twice, but I don't like it. God, guy on me, I'm dead. He's in the cubby. Live ping. Good live ping, even though we're dead. I like to see that. It may seem simple, but a lot of but a lot of randoms we spectate. They don't ping shit. All right, so we won our gulag, and we're off to kind of a rough start right now. He did run but not all hope is direction. lost. We still have the scavenger. We need to finish up. Another position right here. I don't like the fact that both of us were in the cubby. I'm sorry. I, I, know, I know I'm going really in on the cubby idea, but uh, yeah, I don't do it. Don't do it, guys. Ooh, heartbeat sensor. Now, again, I wouldn't spend too much time sitting here worrying he about all of this way. loot. We can go to the scavs, get our shit, get our loadout, and move on. All right, so now we got our loadout, and we're moving on. No objectives are pinged right now. We haven't stopped to check our map. Not really sure what our game plan is at this moment in time. Well, ammo, that's a good game plan for sure. Um, we don't have enough for anything like plates. We don't have enough for UAV. We are broke as shit. So what are we doing here, right? We need to go ahead and move on. This place has already been looted for the most part, minus this little shack. Um, 
but it's time to go ahead and get out of here also mark that plate for your teammate and also drop more plates for your teammate we got a satchel with eight he's missing a plate i'm gonna assume he doesn't have anything else that or he's forgotten to pop them never mind he just popped this plate we're good to go but right now i kind of see he's he's in this he's in this pattern where he doesn't really know what he wants to do at least that's what i'm assuming because we're kind of just running in circles we're when we're making the same pass we're going in a building out the building in the building out the building we're waiting for our teammate to come up with a plan okay. instead of waiting for our teammate to come up with a plan let's come up with one for them right pull up your map mark a bounty mark some kind of objective anything you don't even have to complete it just mark something get it done to get you out of this stagnant position a lot of players struggle at getting higher kill games because this is what they do a lot of times also i don't like the fact that we're both living on our map and apartment building is right in front of us Oh, it wasn't pinging for me. Like, it's me not showing up on the map. It shows up. A few uh, things I've seen so far that I want y'all to work on is loot a little bit faster. Try to yeah, just get in and out quick as possible. May not seem like a big deal, but it is. Don't put yourself in a cubby, especially these cubbies. And also, try to move your feet as much as possible. If you don't know what to do and you're circling a building and you're going on the rooftop, going on the doors, and you keep doing it, mark an objective and go to it. And I really wouldn't spend too much time in this area either because we've already cleared this area. The chance of somebody coming here in the last 60 seconds is probably slim to none. Even though we do have that other squad that was here, I don't like the idea of us coming right back here and not grabbing that bounty. The bounty was the only reason I forgive you guys coming back here, but y'all ended up not doing it. So again, kind of a little bit of waste of time. And as far as picking up the contraband instead of the bounty, that's again, that's up to you guys. If y'all want that blueprint, go ahead and do it. We, I won't really critique anything there, um, but if you have the blueprint, you don't care about it. Don't pick it up All right now we got to rotate all the way to the north This is a huge swing for the circle so early in the game. We need to get across fast. I'd take that ATV for sure As far as positioning the ATV all the way on the other side of airport get to the hills south of military That's where you want to be at if you want kills if you want to get position no matter what your plan in the game is That is a great spot to be the fact that we're trying to play the edge right now in airports a little scary because airports got multiple elevations it's got multiple levels so we could be in a fight with one squad and it's all good and next thing you know there's guys in the rooftop shoot down on us and we're third party and now we're dead so i'm not a huge fan of this i definitely would have rotated with that atv got into the contraband done my shit got back on the atv and gotten the hell out of there now i will say this contraband is in a bad position very bad position good stuff carpenter getting a duble is that a collateral bro did you just get a collat my dude Dead. oh and we no. do have enough money for a uav so i would definitely try to jump down at the buy station and get that going because again with the contraband's out in the open very dangerous position we need to come with our teammates go ahead and get over here as fast as possible i just got bought back up there if we have hopes of doing the contraband, the UAV would be a huge, huge tool for us to be able to do this relatively safely. And it's it's kind of hard saying safely because it's a bad spot to be in. Now, guys, if y'all are the type of people to love a sit up on the tower, I'm not saying this from a hater standpoint, but from a strategic standpoint, don't do this. This is this. No, because when the circle rotates further north, which it probably will, you're going to have to parachute your happy ass out of that tower and we're going to beam you out of the sky. This is not a strategy. This is not a choke point. This is not a gatekeep. This is nothing, nothing at all. All it is is protecting you from being pushed by other enemies because it's such an easy position to hold. But most players are smart enough not to go up the elevator shaft when there's people up there. So again, not a huge fan of this at all. All right. Oh my God, are you serious? Okay, a couple things. Weird, right? Weird. I wouldn't expect him to jump out that early, but he did for whatever reason. Now, look, we're making some noise. Again, we're on the edge of airport, on the edge of the circle. We're out in the open, our back's exposed. I'm really worried about that rooftop behind us because, you know, people love to sit on airport rooftop, especially when it's on the edge of the gas. Um, So I'm, I'm very worried about our position right now and how vulnerable we are on the back end side. However, talking about the guy jumping out, that's a given. We just discussed that. Um, Don't do that, guys. It's dumb. Guy. Right. and there's his teammate <laughs> what you know there's a door a little bit further where he just came from where you could actually go in and then go around the inside and pick up your teammate but he decides instead he's gonna run outside with his entire left hand side exposed to not only us but again all of airport 
no guys come on man you guys gotta pretend like you know what's going on around you this no oh. fuck i got shot from the right oh the timing on that one was unfortunate bro unfortunate damn let's see what orange ends up doing i don't, I don't like I don't the idea of orange coming for the res we're probably gonna go ahead and take this l if orange oh he got the knock never mind with that pick he could go ahead and push towards us and get the res off that's exactly what he should be doing he went ahead and finished the contraband let's see what he does there he is now he's navigating to us good shit I don't know where, he, where he is i sniped him i downed him that was a good pick oh, brother got you got a guy up in the tower are you using go, the hdr move, move, too move back this way i got shot from straight east yep uh he just went around the other side of the stairs now we need to pop our plates and we're again we're vulnerable and towers right there i instantly would have dove into this trailer's okay, windows while popping my plates down and down done it down. safely because where we're at right now rooftop we could get shot down from there i got my guy Hostile. there's a guy there now this is this is an unfortunate fight because again we don't have a sniper i don't like the fact that we're trying to engage on this carpenter on the other hand because he does have a sniper he could contest it but we again need to move across and get safe look at carpenter bro fucking a dude with another snipe to the man's face get out of here you must be hitting your shots yeah. pretty good yeah how many kills are you at again Five. we need to rotate and i would rotate no. i would rotate wide left and when i say wide left i'm talking about in relation to the airport the fact that we're cutting out in the middle is very dangerous because again we have no cover so if we go ahead and wide left rotate we could use a little bit of this cover and we're separating ourselves from the enemies at airport the greater the distance the harder it is for them to hit their shots that's just a fact so if we come this way we could probably get to cover and then we can continue moving on i don't like running right out in the middle of the airport because we'll probably get beamed there's the bounty right there i don't know what the hell he's doing bro and we're taking shots from the right hand side we need to bail out of this completely dude i would jump down now this is bad this is bad this is bad instantly jump down when you guys are fighting you have to go ahead and analyze what's around you right you have to go ahead and realize well if i get shot this is my next plan my next plan would have been the moment i got shot i jumped down in this tunnel and i would just go ahead and change my entire plan throw a huge audible because right now what we just did we pissed off the two guys over there they're gonna rotate around that hole in the wall play the other side of the wall and again, our left-hand side is completely vulnerable to getting blitzed down. We're protected from the guy shooting us right now, but not the other guys. I'm 75. Carpenter did get a knock with a sniper. Not sure which player. There we go. Over there. Now, again, we could go through the tunnel and come up on, under the enemies. Reloading. And change our yep, complete angle right of approach. Of blue plate them. No idea what he was doing. We didn't have Daddy on or nothing, by the plane. and he was just, he didn't hear anything. Wow. Again, this position here, 360 degrees of pure exposure. We're literally just putting it on the line. Guy live ping. Two of them live Good ping. live ping for your teammate. We have a weapon that could probably hit the enemy at that distance, but the chance of actually breaking armor and downing him is very slim. So he's allowing his teammate to get the shots off without pissing him off. Now, as far as the guy we just killed, he's going for his loadout drop. It is what it is. Very, very brave um, to go out there for the loadout drop in this right, position. Yep. This is one of the reasons why I don't like playing the edge of the circle, the especially the airport area. Yeah, I'm running towards the Because this thing. is only this area of the airport. If we talk about the hangars, there's probably at least four or five more Dude, teams over there. Fucking people up left and right with this sniper rifle. Also, guys, if you're wondering how I hit all of my snipes and just blitz everyone down with the Carnage 8, Sneak Energy is for you. Make sure you guys use code SAVAGE at checkout. This shit is absolutely goaded. And in my opinion, it tastes better than any other energy supplement I've ever had in my yeah, life. I and that's no cap. I just drove away. Again, right here, I don't like this as well. We're trying to get angle on an enemy. I get it. But if we get shot right now, what will we do? Nothing. So if the enemy shoots us and he's got decent aim, we're dead to rights. When I'm fighting an enemy, when i'm peeking the enemy i'm gonna make sure again i'm near some piece of cover that i can work around right i'm just letting you guys know what's going through my mind when we're playing this game and we see the squads out here there's multiple duos oh, yeah, i've spotted reload. at least five enemies i like the fact that we're finally getting here trying to play a better piece of cover I'm run over to now i don't mind the fact of us gatekeeping them we don't have to move at this moment in time so if we play that wall we can catch all those enemies out in the open Right here, these guys are all gonna have to cross out in the open. There's nothing they can do. 
doesn't look like there's any vehicles over there so this is going to be easy pick and so what i would have done was i would have played this wall right here now he could be moving himself to a better position for the gatekeep the only reason why i'm not agreeing with that is because we don't know who's in the houses and who's in the building so we could come here and we end up getting a fight with the guys in the houses and next thing you know the guys from airport made it across um, safely and now they shoot us in the back got a hit from him from up at these houses to the far left I'm gonna go yellow house here. Yeah, yellow house is definitely the play. I definitely like the fact that we're trying to get closer. I want a different angle. That yellow building is really blinding us from a lot of the uh, hangar area. That's the shot sounded like a little bit further away. I wouldn't even be worried about it right now. You getting anywhere? Got a guy at the car. Okay. Nice knock. Again, this Found position, I'd be more worried about helping our teammate. We don't need ammo. We don't need anything, actually. And we have a sh we have $18,000. Right, so here we are crouched. I don't like this at all. Look, look where we're at. Look where we're at. Again, you want to always imagine that people are looking at you. And you always want to live paranoid in Verdansk and not allow your body to be vulnerable, especially for sitting still. If you're on the move, it is what it is. You're trying to navigate. I get it. But if you're stationary, you're preparing to fight somebody, make sure you're near some form of cover. These trees would be great, right? This ridge would be great. These rocks would be great. Anywhere but here would be great. Again, we're 360 degrees of complete vulnerability. Even these guys who are in a shitty position, if one of them is decent with a Carnegie 8, he could flick on you so fast and down you with no cover and probably even get the execution. So again, try to make sure your body stays in your some form of cover at all times if you can possibly get it done. And right now is one of those moments. Not the prone, not the prone, not the prone, bro. Don't do it. Don't do it, brother. Like this ridge right here would have been this beautiful, beautiful ridge. If we get down, guess what? We get knocked and we're behind a ridge. Yellow can come res us and we're good to go. Guy coming from there as well. Now a gun like this isn't good. best at range, but if you learn to control the recoil, you could have absolutely held down the trigger and beam the shit out of that poor SOB, 100%. There you go. I'm not against tap firing for sure. If you're more comfortable tap firing, do you. Do you, but it's definitely possible. I have to move. What do you got? Got him. Look, we have the guy right there. And we also have the guy at the buy station. There are two teams in this position. God, this we just saw the buy go off. I don't think we've realized it yet. The tracers are coming over there as well. You see the tracers? There we go. Now, again, don't the forget guy? the guy behind the building. It's not the same dude. It's not the same dude at all. All right, good. We did. We did realize that. Is it the same dude? Got him. There it is. All right. I'm about to, I'm, I literally stopped for a second. I was like, maybe I'm fucking wrong. Maybe, maybe it wasn't the same dude. And those weren't tracers. Maybe I'm just old and this senile. All right. Thank you, Carpenter, for solidifying that kill. So I don't think I'm crazy. I already do. Again, um, when you get to a buy station, for sure, definitely don't go to the one at airport. No, not there. <laughs> Make our way to I want to see what he did. Good call. Maybe go up to that one. Yeah, I wouldn't go there at all, man. People? Screw that spot. As you just what saw, you every team that was there, except for the guys that had the vehicles and bailed out, towards... died. Probably gonna guess milk. And also, guys, again, going guess, back uh, to talking about airport and why I don't like playing the edge, there were five teams in the hangar area alone. Two got in Bertha's, one got in the four seater, one squad got killed by the squad we just killed. So there, there are a lot of teams on just that yep. side. That's the reason why I'm paranoid when it comes to airport and hangers on the edge. We're randomly getting clustered right now. As far as the enemy's concerned, stupid play. Guy in the house, fucking Damn. ambulance. Two in the house. All right, great Down knock. Good thermite. Should be able to hit the guy on the right hand, left hand side. I need to push. Okay, notice also an enemy just jumped off of this hill right here. Again, I always try to tell you guys to train your eyes for movement. There's no strategy to teach you guys how to do that. You guys just need it. When you're playing, when you're playing the game, don't just get close to your monitor and in tunnel vision. Sit back from your monitor, get your face away from the screen and loosen up your eyes. When you guys are just super intense, you're only staring at your crosshair or what's actually in front of you. You're not paying attention to the mini map, your ammo count, your plates, or enemies around you. Here, I'm gonna go ahead and quickly rewind it so you guys can see what I saw. You see him right there? That's a guy. 
Can you tell it's a guy right here? If you just look at this picture, can you tell it's a guy? Some of you might, but it's the movement you need to look for in order to tell this tan from this tan color. You know what I mean? There he is. So he's pushing up right now. Whoa. We went ahead and got the kill in that. We went ahead and got the execution with the thermite and the enemy has pushed himself in here to go ahead and finish off that kill. And we're gonna go ahead and take care of him as well. I don't know if Wonderful Holy even God. saw that guy coming down the hill. Coming back. Where do you need me? Land on me. I killed him. All right, buy station. Okay. Buy There's station so much boys. Shit in that house. Now we got to be yep. very careful. The first thing I'm I do is buy a UAV shit. and kind of back away from it. Buy UAV, back away from the buy station. Call it in. Call your UAV in. Call your UAV in. Call your UAV in. Now look, the reason why I said get one UAV and call it in is because if for some reason the guy over here or there's a guy rotating behind us, we won't know. So if we stay in the buy station without calling one in and looking at the mini map, we have a chance to get sniped in the face. We're very vulnerable right here. Not much cover. Um, I respect the advanced UAV purchase, but again, I would go ahead and call in the UAV first. <laughs> Luckily, there's not. There is a guy right here, though. So he is relatively close. I definitely would mark that precision for your teammate for sure so you can pick it up. I don't know what to do with our money. Um, self res is for yeah. sure. Your teammate might need a gas mask. Now let's look at the look at the advanced UAV right now. Okay. I would have waited to call in an advanced UAV until your teammate was ready. Because every second the UAV is scanning is a precious second wasted from that advanced UAV. Meaning, look how many people are here, right? Look how many people are here. So I would have called in my advanced UAV when my teammate got his crap. So the moment these guys popped up, we could go over and blow through these squads. This is amazing when it comes to kills. We have three teams sitting right here. We could easily take out. Then if we want to rotate to the top of the hill, we could do so and start fighting these guys. And we basically know where most of the squads are at right now. There are 17 squads in total, and we have 14 identified because of the advanced UAV. 13, but 14 including us. Now, as far as this guy right here, I don't know what the hell happened to him. He must've been taking a piss or some shit. There's no reason for anyone to be that deep in the gas. That's kind of crazy. But again, pointing this out guys, make sure you're using UAVs and advanced UAVs, no matter how late in the game you are. I'm tired of people in the comment section saying, Savage, everyone uses Ghost. No, they don't. They really don't. Not to mention, even if they do, if they die and come back from the Gulag, guess what happens? They come back without their perks. That's right. So make sure you guys are using UAVs. It's a tool. I'm tired of spectator randoms that literally buy precisions and clusters and that's all they do because they want to get kills and not actually strategically win the game and slowly improve to get better. Now look, we just I'll called it an advanced UAV. Now granted, the information is crucial. Just knowing the fact, just knowing where all these teams are yeah. and being able to judge a rotation off that is huge. So I'm not against us using it and not getting kills. That's how you want to play. That's how you want to play. Not everybody wants to go high octane and get 30 kills and stuff like that. So I respect it. But you are trying to get some kills and level up in your kill category make sure so. you're calling in a uav in the moment it gets called in oh, we go ahead and push those enemies we need to work our way upstairs i don't like this because if these teams were to push you the moment they broke you you're dead because we put ourselves in the corner because we put ourselves on the ground level right go up the stairs so you can create time if you go upstairs they're gonna have to go up the stairs and that's more seconds you can pop plates and start planning on how you're gonna out rotate the enemy when you put yourself in a corner like that if the enemy comes into the front door and you're one tapped you're gonna die now carpenter's lot. probably gonna need your help here soon we don't have to go through the front door we can get some angles from the rooftop as well or from the windows the carpenters looks like he's in trouble these two guys are camping in this house we do have uav with a call as well but i wouldn't waste it right now here we go these two guys literally camp in the same Down corner one. we got two thermite i would go ahead and throw up in that bitch too Never mind, no need. There's one, there's Stopping. two. That's all she wrote. Now, guys, as far as the enemies are concerned, Don't there's no reason to ever camp in an attic like this in this position. In game, oh, last awesome. couple circles, fine, but it's way too early in the game right now, in my opinion, to be camped up, hiding like a baby back bitch. Now, we do have a vehicle that's marked red. It could have an enemy sitting in it for some reason, or it could be glitched. I'm not really sure. Nowadays, it doesn't surprise me if I Diana's see an enemy just sitting right idle in a vehicle. A we have UAV as well. We have UAV oh, also. Him. Yep. Yeah, popped it. Fuck down back door. I'm dead. Aww. Now the reason the reason why I said to use the UAV, even though we had him on heartbeat, is because even though we knew exactly where the enemy was, our teammate didn't. And we really didn't know exactly where he was at. We would have called it a UAV up, our teammate might have had a better shot at winning that fight. Oh buy uh, stations was. I don't know for I'm sure because we close. weren't able to spectate him, but I mean, if there's a ping in the air getting swept by UAV, Careful. you can usually out-rotate and out-work that player. 
now fortunately for us the guys that are on the hill to our east 76 they're engaged with a separate team so we could go up there and third party those guys which is kind of what i would be doing Zucker glitched we're gonna go ahead and rotate this way and clear out the ridge not i'm not against it. if you want to clear it out clear it out don't like Our this at all we're heart beating a ridge that heartbeat hill. sensor will not reach that mountain i promise you that it will not reach that hill when we're just heartbeat it at we're crouch walking in the open with a heartbeat sensor nice. wasn't a huge fan big mistake in my eyes Wonder if you should daddy we only saw 14 of the 17 teams so there are some people around here that are rocking ghosts uh a teammate recommended we use daddy I'm not that big of a fan of it. If someone's playing the edge like this, this late in the game, they're probably crossed like that kid was, and they're not going to have that good of a reaction time to contest you. For instance, with that fight right there, we didn't even need Daddy. He saw us, he turned to shoot at us, and that was it. Oh, God, we got guys below us. We need to take care of this right now. Right now. There goes one. Watch out. He just got shot from the 120 as well. We need to go ahead and take care of his teammate before he goes for the res. He should be doing some call outs a little bit lower little bit lower you can wait for them to combine and then we can go ahead and pick it i wouldn't worry about contesting these guys too much because this guy right here is putting a lot of suppressive fire on you i'd be, I'd be more worried about the guy that was shooting at you just now watch your left yep yeah that guy right there right. we need to be worried about him mm -hmm. wouldn't waste the time to pop the plate not enough they're all singles they're all solos don't like this at all we're leaving a decent position to rotate outside get a wide right hand flank and again we're vulnerable our entire left hand now back in now right hand side is completely vulnerable and we're trying to get back Ryan, to the position uh, we just 1v1, left 1v1, three. moments like these when it's a 1v1v1 you need to just slow it down play slow and analyze the situation before you make your move we just jumped out there and assumed we knew where the guy was we didn't he probably got killed or he probably moved and again wasted time but more importantly our body was vulnerable for a huge period of time and i don't like that now this building here that's where one of them is probably going to be oh, at. you can you can bet money on that you see that down to the right there he is right there no wonderful no bro look at our plates look at our plates bro we're missing half we're good we just broke his all you gotta do is hit him two more times he's dead do not lose out on that kill or even worse allow the other enemy to get your kill just because you got paranoid and wanted to pop your plate i'm all for popping plates when needed but this is not a time that was needed also we need to push up a little bit we're not giving ourselves enough angle on the enemy we have a ridge awesome but we can only see a little bit that's actually inside the zone so you want to kind of work your way up a little bit peek down and then head glitch the enemy and shoot him in the face especially now that he's being third partied he's probably playing that rock that you're literally yeah. aiming at right now he's probably right in this area i would imagine the high ground, so. there's no reason a heartbeat it won't reach that area plan to keep it that way one guy there one guy still up there i like the fact that we're holding our position though nope, i like the fact we're holding i'm not a huge fan them. of the fact that we're laying prone but i do like the fact that we're holding this angle and not going super aggro and pushing in don't challenge him i wouldn't honestly bro just, just peek, peek, peek 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 you gotta peek this look where he's at right now right He's playing the edge of the gas and the circle's not even closed all the way. So once the circle closes, look at the map. This is the road right here that it's talking about. That's that road, right? He's going to be forced to leave all of the trees and all of his cover and do something. Navigate out in the open and he's a vulnerable target. But because he shot us one or two times. And again, we got in this panic mode where we didn't need to reload. We had 30 bullets. That's all we needed. Um, we don't need to plate it up. We have half our plates. Again, you want to have full plates, but when you're in a winning position, just go ahead and finish it off. Um, and also, don't we blind ourselves from the enemy. Now, Carpenter said, move. don't challenge it. Nah, -uh. challenge first. that asshole. Take care of him. Don't let him rotate towards you. Do not Keep allow up. the enemy to close the gap. Oh, weird. Yeah. Look where the circle ended up going. Holy shit. Now, he's probably playing behind this tree, to be honest. Hello. You can hear him coughing. Yeah, there he is, rotating. Yep, yep, yep. All right, and there's the baby. kill, GG. Wonderful, Carpenter. Thank you guys for submitting your gameplay. I know I was really harsh and giving constructive criticism, but again, the purpose of this series is to help you guys learn from your mistakes. 
I've been really nice to viewers submitted games, but I'm gonna start going in on people. That way you guys can learn, get out there and start improving and work your way to a better victory. Granted, you got a 14 kill win, I believe. It's 14, 15, something like that. So you did great, but I believe that could have been a 20 kill game if you would have just done a couple things differently. A couple things I want you to work on is positioning. Make sure if you're contesting an enemy or about to contest an enemy, you have some form of cover around you. Second thing, do not put yourself in a cubby. Third thing, have confidence in yourself, in your beams, and stop backing out of fights when you have the enemy's plates broken and he's literally one or two shot just because you have half your ammo and you have half your plates. Make sure you go ahead and fully solidify the kills. And again, if any of you want your gameplay analyzed, make sure you submit it in our Discord. The rules and how to do so is in the description below. So make sure you just scroll down, check it out. But until next time, you have a good one and good luck in Warzone.